Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord. And He will lift you up. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord. And He will lift you up. Woo! Thank you for joining me today. I'm excited about this message. I feel like it's one of the most important messages I will ever bring forth. And if you catch hold of this message uh, that humility brings healing, you will walk in divine healing. Oh, hallelujah. You will go forward in victory. You will be empowered uh, to overcome every evil situation in your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So I pray that you will catch hold of this message today and let it go deep down inside of you and take root and then let the fruit come forth. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Uh, let your healing come forth. Uh, let your prosperity come forth. Uh, let your sound mind come forth uh, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. But we're going to pray before we begin into the word today. And I'm going to, I have my globe with me uh, again today. And I, I want to pray for those that have lost loved ones and and family members and friends and and those uh, that have been devastated uh, by the earthquake in Turkey and Syria. Remember, there are five countries that the Lord has given me uh, authority and responsibility for, and those are Iraq, Iran, Turkey, Syria, and Saudi Arabia. And so I want to just lay my hands on this globe right here. Pray with me right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we send healing uh, to Turkey and to Syria from this earthquake in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask that you comfort and be be a peace to those who have lost loved ones and friends. And Lord, the, the devastation, Lord, we ask that you send helpers uh, into this these two countries to help rebuild and restructure uh, in Jesus' name. And we, we speak uh, your mighty angels to go forth and to help this work be done in these two countries in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. I want to start in uh, 2 Kings chapter 5. But first of all, I want to say to you that humility, we are to put on humility. Humility is a garment uh, of royalty. And it is a garment that we are to put on every single day. Hallelujah. Now, on the other side of the coin, there's pride. A person is either humble or they're prideful. Now, pride brings all evil upon that person. Sickness, disease, pain, depression, lack, poverty. But humility brings healing and life. And that's what we're going to, to focus on today is, is how do we put on humility? Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to give you a definition of pride. Pride is... Accepting sickness when Jesus has already eliminated it. Pride is accepting anything that is evil. It, it you know, could be sickness, it could be disease, it could be poverty, it could be depression, anxiety, worry. All of those things that are evil. Pride is when an individual accepts those things when Jesus has already eliminated them. 
we're talking about the cross. We're talking about what Jesus did on Calvary. Hallelujah. He says, by his stripes you are healed. He has nails in his hands and his feet. But your hands are free. And whatever you put your hand to will prosper. Your feet, your steps are ordered by the Lord. Hallelujah. The crown of thorns is for every mental illness that's on the books. He's already shed his blood for you and for me. And he has bought our victory. He has bought our freedom. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, I want to start with 2 Kings chapter 5. And this is about a man, the captain of the host of Syria, of the king of Syria. His name was Naaman. And he was honorable because by him the Lord had given deliverance unto Syria. He was also a mighty man in valor, but he was a leper. So he had a disease. And the Syrians had gone out by companies and brought away a captive out of the land of Israel, a little maiden, and she waited on Naaman's wife. And she said to her mistress, Would God my Lord were with the prophet that is in Samaria, for he would recover him of his leprosy. She knows a man that is, is able to, uh, to bring healing. And one went and told his Lord, said, Thus said the maid, The king of Syria sh should go, and I will send a letter unto the king of Israel. And he departed and took with him ten talents of silver. Oh, hallelujah. And he brought the letter to the king. And let's go on down in verse 10. And Elisha sent a messenger unto him. So, so Naaman's letter gets to Elisha. And this is what Elisha is telling him to do. Go and wash in the Jordan seven times, and thy flesh will come clean, and thou shalt be clean. Hallelujah. But Naaman was angry and went away and said, Behold, I thought he would surely come unto me. He would surely say something or wave his hand or, or do something to get rid of this, this leprosy. What was there in Naaman? Pride. There was pride there. Now you see, pride will block your healing. Pride will block, block your prosperity. Ooh, listen to me. Pride will block your ministry from coming forth. And even though this was a mighty man, this was a uh, important man, a man of valor, but there was pride in him. And then, in verse 14, no, verse 13, and he said, his servants came near and spake unto him and said, my, my father, if the prophet had bid thee do some great thing, would you not have done it? How much rather... When he saith to thee, wash and be clean. You see, the Jordan River was, was a dirty river. It was uh, in the physical. There were other rivers that were cleaner. But you see, the Jordan River has the anointing of God in it. Joshua, when he, he, he crossed over the Jordan River, they built an altar to God in the middle of the river. And that river still flows with the energy of God today. It still flows with healing today in the name of Jesus. So in verse 14, then he went down. Woo! Hallelujah! Then he went down. What does that mean? He put away pride 
and he took on and he put on humility. He put on the garment of humility and dipped himself seven times in the Jordan, according to the saying of the man of God. And his flesh came again unto him, the flesh of a little child, and he was clean. Praise the name of Jesus. But you know, I'm not talking about just getting a healing today. I'm talking about walking in divine healing every single day of your life. And that is as every day you put on humility. Every day. And there are three things I want you to remember about this message today. In order to put on the garment of humility, number one, you have to cast all your care over on the Lord. Are you listening to me? Number two, you have to cast down every thought that exalts itself above the knowledge of God. And number three, you have to cast off darkness. So those three things, you're going to put on humility, but you're going to cast off your care. You're going to cast off any thoughts that are not of God, and you're going to cast off any darkness, any works of darkness, any witchcraft, any manipulation, uh, any corrupt communication. Ephesians 4.29. The Lord showed me something this morning, and that was that when we speak pain, sickness, disease, lack, poverty, a defeat, discouragement. When we peak, when we speak that out of our mouth, it is a cesspool. Our, ma our mouth becomes a, a cesspool full of corrupt communication. Now that's pretty clear, isn't it? That's very plain, very simple. Because out of your heart, the mouth speaks. And we want our mouth to be a fountain of life, don't we? We want our mouth to be productive. We want, because out of our mouth, hallelujah, in your, in your tongue, there is the power for life or death. So you're either, you're speaking life over yourself and your family, and your ministry, and your friends are your speaking death. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. But what he showed me was a cesspool. Filled with garbage. That polluted that, that individual's mouth was very, very plain to me this morning. You either speak life or you speak death. And we choose life today. We choose to humble ourselves. We choose to put on humility. We're going to cast off our care. You know, that's in 1 Peter. But before we go to 1 Peter, let those are the three things I want you to remember. But let's go to 2 Kings, while I'm in 2 Kings, to uh, chapter 20. In verse 1. In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. And the prophet Isaiah, the son of Amos, came to him and said... Get your house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. But verse 2, from verse 1 to verse 2, we see Hezekiah goes from death to life. Then he turned his face to the wall. Repentance is a gift from God. And he began to repent. And it says, then he turned his face to the wall and prayed unto the Lord, saying, Oh, I beseech you, O Lord, remember now I have walked before you in truth and with a perfect heart. And I have done that which is good in your sight. And Hezekiah began to cry. And it came to pass 
that before I, Isaiah was gone out of the middle of court, that the word of the Lord came to him again. Woo! Turn again and tell I, Hezekiah, the captain of my people, thus saith the Lord God of David and thy father, I have heard your prayer. Praise the name of Jesus. Humility opens up the airwaves to the Heavenly Father. Humility. Oh, I'm talking about being humble before the Lord. He will hear your prayers. I will heal thee. I have seen your tears. Behold, I will heal thee. And on the third day, thou shalt go in unto the house of the Lord. There's a message right there as well, but that's not my message today. And I will add unto your days 15 years. And I will deliver you and this city out of the hand of the king of Assyria. And I will defend this city for my own sake and for my servant David's sake. And Isaiah said, take a lump of figs. And they took it and laid it on the boil and he recovered. Praise the name of Jesus. Don't you want to walk in divine healing? I don't want to just get a healing. I want to walk in it. I want to walk in it. Therefore, I need to watch my mouth. Therefore, I don't want my mouth to be a cesspool. I don't want pride uh, to enter in and interfere uh, with any healing that's going on in my body right now. Hallelujah. And I don't want it to enter into your healing either. Hallelujah. You're going to cast every care over on the Lord. Let's go to 1 Peter 5. Lord, we thank you for this word today. The, the Lord wants his people healed and delivered and set free and walking in victory. He wants them to be empowered today uh, to, to go forward in everything that needs to be done in the kingdom of God. There is much to be done, people. Hallelujah. And there is a positioning that is going on by the Spirit of God. And God is putting people where he wants them. Hallelujah. Let's uh, start in First uh, Peter 5. And let's start in verse 5. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder... Yea, all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. Humility is something that you put on every single day. It is your clothing. It is a spiritual garment. Can you say amen? For God resisteth the proud and he gives grace to the humble. Now, another thing that the Lord spoke to me was that humility, the minute you put on humility, it activates healing in your body. The minute you put on humility, it activates healing in your body. Hallelujah. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time. And look at this. Here's our first casting. Casting all of your care upon him, for he cares for you. Woo! I'm going to go over the three again. Remember, we're going to cast every care over on him. No worries. No concerns. Number two, we're going to cast down our thoughts, and we'll go there next. And we're going to cast down... And put off all darkness. All works of darkness. Woo! Did you know that gossip is a work of darkness? That just came up strong in me in the name of Jesus. Talking about other people and what they're doing is a work of darkness. It will keep you from walking in your healing. Woo! Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. We love you today. Verse 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, you have an enemy. He's out there roaring as a lion, it says. 
walking about seeking someone that he can devour. Someone that he can, then he will accept pride. Someone that will accept their sickness or disease. Someone that will accept uh, being uh, in lack. Someone that will accept uh, panic or anxiety or depression or, or a thought about suicide. Mm, 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 mm. There's at least three people that are watching this video and the Lord was saying to you, suicide is not the answer. And suicide, you, have, you do not have the privilege of committing suicide. And he told me that years ago because I have bought you with a price, he said to me. He says, I bought you with my blood. And so you do not have the privilege of committing suicide. You do not own yourself. You belong to God through Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross. I speak to you that day right now. And I deliver, I say that you are delivered from any spirit of suicide in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, let's go. We're going to, we're casting all our care. You know, what interferes with the word of God? The seed of the word. If we go back to Mark chapter 4, we see that the, the cares of this world will choke out the seed. The precious seed of the word of God. But we want it to grow in us. We want it to multiply in us. And so we're going to, every day, we're going to cast every care. All cares. No worries. Akuma Matata. No worries. For the rest of your days. Woo, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then we're going to go to 2 Corinthians chapter 10. And we're going to read about our thought life. It says, chapter 10, 2 Corinthians 10, verse 5. Casting down. This is the second thing that we're going to cast down. Casting down imaginations, our thoughts, and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Now, we can do that. We can do that. We may have a thought, a thought about not having money enough to pay our bills this month, money uh, in, uh, that we need for an emergency. Uh, we can cast down that thought and that imagination with the word of God. Because it says that whatsoever we put our hand to will prosper and that God will provide for us. Hallelujah. He provides for the birds. He provides uh, and he, he makes the flowers grow and the trees grow and the grass grow and God will bring whatever you need to you if you will believe him for that. So, we're going to cast down every care. We're going to cast down any thoughts. Any thoughts. You know, when they told me um, over 28 years ago that I had terminal cancer and I was going to die in six months, there were thoughts that I had to cast down every single day. I had to cast down those thoughts of dying. I had to cast down those thoughts of my husband having another wife. I had to cast down those thoughts of not being able to see my children grow and, and be, become adults. I had to cast down those thoughts of not ever being able to teach again or sing again. 
I had to cast down those thoughts of laying in the bed, shriveling up to nothing. I cast it down. And I asked the Lord. See, when you cast down, you the, then you ask the Lord to give you scriptures that will build you up. He, scriptures about healing. Scriptures about prosperity. Uh, scriptures about uh, peace and joy and encouragement and power. Ask the Lord to give you those scriptures to replace what you're casting down. We cast down every care and we cast down every thought. And then let's go over to Romans. I'm bringing this to a close here. In Romans chapter 13. We're going to cast down the works of darkness. I'm in Romans 13 verse 12. The night is far spent and the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Hallelujah. We overcome evil with good. And we overcome darkness with light. Are you walking in the light? Are you listening to the Spirit of God because the Spirit of God will bring you light? Hallelujah. Are you fellowshipping with the light? Are you fellowshipping with the, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost? Are you fellowshipping with those individuals, those believers who believe the Lord, who are going forward with the Lord? Are you fellowshipping with darkness? I'm just asking for you to evaluate today. Just evaluate where you are. Are you casting off every care? Are you casting down every imagination and high thought? Oh, oh, hallelujah. Are you casting off the works of darkness and putting on the armor of light? Hallelujah. Then if we go down to 13, let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, nor in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envy, but put you on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh. Hallelujah. You see, pride is the flesh, but we're casting it off and we're putting on humility today. Humility brings healing. Healing in your spirit. Healing in your mind, healing in your soul, healing in your body. Hallelujah. And you can walk there. Not just happen to be there every once in a while, but you can walk in that. that that's what I want. And so I'm going to lead you in repentance as we close out today. Just say, Father, Father in the name of Jesus, Amen. I come, to you, I come to you, and I confess my sins before, I you. My sins before you. I repent, I repent of, pride. of pride. I repent, I repent of, taking on care. of taking on care. I repent, I repent of, not of not casting down thoughts. I repent, I repent of walking in darkness. Walking in darkness. And I turn to you and I, and I ask you to forgive me and to cleanse me, and to cleanse me from, all from all unrighteousness. You are faithful, Lord, are faithful, Lord to, do to do this. And now I am clean. I'm, clean. I'm, healed. I'm healed. I'm set free, I'm set free. In, Jesus in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember, we're not going to talk sickness. We're going to talk healing. Hallelujah. So, I speak healing over your spirit, over your body, 
over your mind, over your every part, uh, every organ in your body works perfectly in the name of Jesus. Uh, you can walk and not faint. You can run and not be weary. Oh, hallelujah. You can leap up and down. Oh, praise God in the name of Jesus. You have everything that you need. You have all provision that is made for you right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah! And you have a sound mind in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for watching today.